Alrighty, this is Mr. G with a basic tutorial on pixel art. Pixel art is basically working with the lowest, uh, lowest level of an image. Images are basically broken up into all these little pixels. And uh, if you've ever seen an old video game like uh, Pac-Man or Dig Dug or or Galaga, you'll see that they, they're made up of these tiny little squares, basically, and uh, they give uh, they give us our images and in fact even the pictures on your phone are made out of pixels but they're made out of thousands of pixels so that you don't see the tiny little squares but we're gonna go down to that small level and we're gonna start by making a heart um, and to get started we're gonna just create a new document so you can either go file new control N, or you can click this blue paper and I'm gonna just go ahead and accept this size we're gonna be changing that size okay when you zoom in and down here at the bottom you have this uh, zoom control and I'm gonna zoom all the way in and you're gonna see there's a grid now if you don't see the grid you can turn the grid on and off right here and we want to see the grid and I'm gonna go back to this uh, image here and I'm gonna look at this heart and if you look it's got a square a space and a square so I'm going to choose red and I'm going to use my pencil tool. It's very important to use the pencil tool because that's going to just do one square at a time. And if I go back, I'm going to look square, space, red. Okay, so square, space, and then red. And the next one is square, 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 square. So it's one, two, three, four, five across. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five. So five more. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one. Boom. I have made my first pixel art, and in this case, it's hard. Now, if I zoom out, I'm zoomed in at 3,000%. Hey, it's really tiny. Um, and of course, we can make it bigger, and if you make it bigger, you multiply the number of squares. So maybe I do two squares for each one and, and, and start making it out, so I can make a bigger heart. So instead of one, I'm going to do two, two, and then I'm going to skip two spaces, okay? And instead of uh, five, I'm going to do ten, starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to do another ten. And then maybe I'm going to do, in fact, I'm probably going to do more. Like, I'm going to probably add more. In fact, I'm just going to do more. And I might even go further down and until and I get down to this level and add another point. Now I've made a bigger one. I zoom out. Okay, and that heart doesn't look as, it doesn't look as good as the other one. It's not as uh, it's not as balanced. There we go. That that looks a little better. And I might decide that it needs to be you know more. But there's your that's the start of pixel art. Now if I could do something, I get fancy. I could put a uh, I could put a little uh, black outline around my heart. Okay, to give it a little little shade, a little a uh, little dimension. Um, and now I'm going to just go to YouTube, and I, I'm not YouTube, I just go to Google, and I typed in, uh, oops, I typed in simple pixel heart, or I just typed in pixel heart, and I found a bunch of different hearts. So now maybe I'll try and make this one, and if you look at it, you can sort of see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one's a little more complicated, okay, and, and, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy that image so I can use it as a reference. I'm going to come back here and uh, you know I might even make a new document and I'll paste it in control V paste so I can reference it but I'm going to come back to my grid here and uh, we're going to work on uh, the design for this so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count it and and the number of spaces across in the top so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so it's 13 across it's an odd number and the reason it's an odd number is so that in the middle you can have that that tip because if it was an even number it, it wouldn't work so an odd number gives us the ability to have a a center so it's 13 so it's uh, six dot six squares to the middle from each side and then how high is it it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's eleven so it's eleven by 13. So what I'm going to do is I might even make myself a little um, cheat sheet here. I'm going to uh, make a little square that I'm going to try to stay in. So it's 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, actually it's 13 across, and it's 11 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so that's the width of my heart. I'm actually going to go, so just so that I can sort of see, and then I'm going to come down here and then maybe start trying to make it. So if you look at it, the start of my my object is one, two, three over, and I start the top of my heart with black, okay? So I'm going to just count over one, two, three, and here's one, two, three. There's the beginning of my of my heart, okay? And then it skips one, two, three spaces, and then does the other top part. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So there's the top of my heart. Then I'm going to go down, down, and up, make a little, a little, uh, chasm there one two three okay so there's the, the 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 top basis of my heart and then it does the same thing on the side one actually it's just one two and then it's a a three part down so i'm going to go one one two three and it's going to go over here one oops one two three so maybe i should erase my guide now that i've got it so i get my eraser um, actually you know what easier than eraser in this case is i'm going to switch to white Boom, and then that's going to be my eraser, okay? I'm just going to erase that guideline now. Now that I've got my basic shape, I'm going to switch back to black, okay? And I'm going to um, put my one, two, three. So they're symmetrical so far. And then let's go back and look at it. So then it went down one, two, three, four, five, six down, diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it should be right in the middle, and it looks like it worked. Yay. Okay. And then I fill it with, now this is the easy part. I just fill it with red. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick a red color and I just click here. Boom. It filled it up. Now it didn't fill it perfectly. I'm going to hit control Z. I'm going to change my tolerance to lower. No, maybe I need to make my tolerance higher. No. How about I go really low, like zero. Huh. I wonder why it's doing that. Let's see if I can figure it out. Uh, there might be a reason why. Well, I'm going to fill it in by paint. I'm going to paint it in by hand. It's kind of fun to do anyway. I'm gonna, you know what? Maybe if I fill this part with red. Now let me try my paint bucket. See if I fill that area. Yeah. See that'll fill that area. Um, and then I'm gonna do the the borders here. Filling it with red, and then I'll fill it with my paint bucket. There we go. And then if I take a look, there's one last thing. It's like a little reflection. So like if you zoom out, you know, it's kind of like the reflection of the heart where it where it bends. So I'm gonna put a little. It's in the middle of that, and it's white with two whites there. So I'm going to come back to my design, and I'm going to switch it to white now, and it was like this. There you go. You've started pixel art with a very basic concept, of pixel heart. The next tutorial I have is uh, we're making Super Mario. So that gets a little more, that was a little more crazy. So um, you can try that one. Uh, and I think it's another, uh, I'll see if I can link to that in the video. But here's today's video for getting started, basics of pixel art in paint.net. We covered erasing by using the color instead of the eraser tool. Because if you use the eraser tool, you see that it kind of smears and it causes different problems. And if, by the way, if you know tricks and you want to make a comment and you, you know something I don't know, which is very likely, um, please leave a comment and uh, give us ideas on what we can do to make this an even uh, better lesson. All right. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.